Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many React Native developers. Our viewer is grappling with a situation involving React navigation and the component lifecycle. They have a screen that uses the camera to read QR codes, but they need to manage the camera state effectively when navigating back to the screen. Let's explore their question together. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and I'm hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. To address the issue of resetting the camera state when navigating back to the screen, we can utilize the React Navigation Lifecycle Methods. First, we will add a listener for the focus event in our component. This event triggers when the screen comes into focus. Next, we need to clean up the listener when the component unmounts to prevent memory leaks. This is done in the component will unmount lifecycle method. Now, when the user navigates back to the screen, the camera state will be set to true, allowing the QR code scanning functionality to work as intended. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this scenario, the user faced a challenge when navigating from screen A to screen B and wanted to capture the event of returning to screen A. They proposed sending a callback from screen A to screen B using the navigate function. To handle the event of closing screen B, the user utilized the component will unmount lifecycle method in screen B. This method calls the onclose callback when screen B is unmounted. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. Currently, there isn't an elegant solution for managing component lifecycle with React Navigation. The best approach is to use on navigation state change to detect when you're leaving a tab. If you're using Redux to store data, be cautious. Changing the state will re-render the page and prevent the tab from changing automatically. To manage tab changes, consider using initial route name to set the desired tab manually. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. This user recommends using Redux to manage global state in React Native. By setting a global variable for the camera state, you can easily track whether the camera is off across all components. They suggest persisting this state with async storage, so it remains consistent even after the app is closed and reopened. This method avoids complications with React Native's component lifecycle 
making your code cleaner and more efficient. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user recommends using Redux for state management in React Navigation. Although it has a learning curve, it simplifies managing state, especially with nested navigators like drawer and stack navigators. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.